yo, 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 it's your bizoy, Monsky, not your average radio, it's going with Dizown, what's happening everybody? Man, now I gotta let you guys see, let's see what we got here, we gotta add some, no, 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 no I don't wanna invite anybody, we gotta, oh, okay, you know what, who I have to invite, I do have to invite somebody, boom, boom, okay, cool. Excuse me, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? I'll let you give you, uh, blah, 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 blah. give you guys some time to tune in. It's been a minute. It's been a, I feel like it's been a long time since I've been on that Chavez Radio Live. So I miss you guys. Did you guys miss me? I know you did. I know you did. Man, that's crazy. Nikki Rich is in the building. What's up, Nikki Rich? Tammy Austin. Bridget Blur's in the building. Man, we're just tuning in right here, not your average radio. Man, I feel like you guys, like I haven't seen you guys in a while. <laughs> Has it been that long? It's Monday today, right? I should have my wearing my watch. I took it off already. I'm hot, sweaty actually. Whew. So I'm just letting you guys, uh, I'm letting you guys log in real quick before we get into this. So last week. It was a mess. <laughs> Last week was a mess. I was supposed to, um, I was supposed to try, not try. I just read try. I was supposed to announce the winner of the Dodger tickets and the uh, Not Your Average Radio T-shirt last week on Friday, and then we were at the um, at the comedy club, and now and Omonsky was a little tipsy, and I forgot the names in the car, and then they took it. Um, then they took the car. Uh, and it was valeted. The car was valeted. So I was like, shit. And I don't know where they parked it. I was like, whatever. And the weekend was crazy. Did the video shoot. And then yesterday, I was just busy. And I was like, damn. Yes, it is humid. It is humid up in this piece. But um, I was like, man, I have to jump on and let you guys know who won the Dodger tickets. Because we do have a winner of the Dodger tickets. And we're going to talk about this uh, Not Your Average Radio t-shirt. And a few other things that I want to talk about right here, not Chavage Radio. You know what I'm saying? So I'm letting a couple more people tune in before we get started tonight. Hope you guys are having an amazing day. There's my library right there. Hope everybody has a library in their home. Um, when, I, when I first started listening to motivational speakers, um, there was a guy named Jim Rohn. Natasha, what's up, Natasha Myers? How was your morning show? The morning show was amazing. Um, it is live right now. It, it is up right now. It's obviously, you know, it's recorded, but it's up right now. If you guys missed the morning show, if you guys are at work, if you guys are sleeping, or if you guys are driving, or if you guys, whatever the case might be, and you're unable to watch the morning show in the morning, you can watch it whenever. You, you can watch today's morning show right now. After I'm done, of course. You can watch the morning show tomorrow, next week. Like, it'll be up. Uh, the link is in my bio on Instagram or the link is in the um I'll have to get you guys a link on Facebook but it's it's if you go if you scroll down on my Facebook feed where it says <laughs> uh if you, if you scroll that if you scroll up on my Facebook feed where I'm promoting it the link is on there so you guys can uh, check out the 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 morning show trust me it's definitely different it's definitely amazing it's only audio so you only can hear it but it's definitely not your average and it's definitely made to wake your ass up so it's i i've got nothing but good reviews um and i got, got obviously you guys haven't watched it you guys haven't watched it so i'm not gonna tell you but i got co-hosts with me so i got two other people with me a male and a female and it's uh the dynamic is set to, uh, completely different than what it is right here on um, um, on my Not Your Average Radio, what I do. You know what I mean? Because that's what we got to do. We got to keep it different. We got to move it along. I think the cutie pie you were with made you unfocused. That's the homegirl right there, DJ Steph. She's got a man. Um, she got her own thing going on. This is the homie right there. I like to fuck around. You know what I mean? Because this is entertainment. At the end of the day, this is entertainment. Um... 805 in the house. Kubo Monsky. What's up, Olga? Olga Nares is in the building. Um... But anyways, yes, um, it's entertainment. Even though 99% of the shit that I say is true and what I'm doing is true. But, you know, you always have to, you always have, to add that little spice. <laughs> so um, so if I'm over there acting crazy because homegirl is right there or whatever, it's just because I'm fucking around. You know, I, I'm just having a good time. And you guys are like, oh, shit, most is going crazy. Like, I wasn't even that, like, lit that day, like, at that moment. Like, I acted like I was all drunk. But I, I had drank, what, two drinks? But somebody was saying, like, are you, I think she even asked me, are you drunk? I'm like, no, I'm just acting a fool. 
for no reason. It's all entertainment, people. It's all entertainment. But anyways, I have a couple things I want to tell you guys. Um, I do want to. I want. I do want to announce the winner of the Dodger tickets, and I want to talk to you a little bit about. Um, oh, you, did I get distracted? I didn't. Think, I think I did get distracted. We're talking about. Why, why was I talking about Jim Rome? Oh, library. There's my library right there. Um, when I first started listening to motivational speakers, there was a guy named Jim Rohn. And obviously, he, he's passed away already. He was already older. So back in the maybe in the 90s, you know, when he was like popular, um, he said that what is the difference of a house that is worth – and he was like talking about Texas. So he was like a house that is worth over 200000 and a house that is under 200000 And back then – you know, probably right now that that same house is probably worth what a mil, <laughs> like eight hundred thousand to a million dollars. Anyways, but he said, what is the difference of the house that is is more worth more and is worth less? And he said, the house that are worth more, they all have libraries. And he's like, don't you think that's interesting? Don't you think that's funny? How uh, isn't doesn't that like doesn't that spark your mind like of curiosity? Like, why does every expensive house have a library? You know what I mean? So it's like. Um, he's like, I don't care if you if you have a library or you clean out the corner of your room and stack the books up <laughs> next to a a pen a pen holder and a bottle of fuego tequila, and call that shit your library. So there it is. There's my library. Steffi Star, what's happening? Paul Mendoza, Tina Jones in the building. What's happening? We're just chilling right now. All right, cool. So um, library, there it is. I I can't drink alcohol. Native American Chimanche. I'm like a gremlin. Oh, that is that fire water. Um, I never hung out with uh, Afri uh, African, with uh, Native Americans before. When I went to the Marine Corps, there's a lot of Native Americans that joined the military. Um, and these, and like this dude, uh, they would drink, but it's really weird because like they, like they will take a, we used to drink Crown Royal. So they'd take the Crown Royal straight from the bottle and like two sips and they'd be drunk. Like, like just plastered drunk. It was the craziest thing. But, the funny thing about it is that they'd be like, they'd be like right here and drink and get like, like in two drinks, they get this drunk, right? And then they just stay there. No matter how much they drink, they just stayed in that one spot. Like he'd chug like a whole bottle and like the, the same spot he was at after like two sips would be the same spot he was after he was done finishing the bottle. It was the craziest thing. I never seen someone with like that much stamina, but yeah, they get fucked up so, um, so quickly. I uh, shout out to all the native Americans for show. Um, oh yeah, so let's just let's just let's just call it real quick. Um, we have uh, a winner for the Dodger tickets. Um, the, Dar the Dodger tickets are actually they were donated by the homie Blur uh, here on on Facebook. It's OG, uh, not OG. It's Will Garcia. So shout out to the homie. He donated them. Solid Kings. Shout out. Um, but we only had two people. I guess my I, I guess my not your average listeners are a little shyer than I thought. But only two people. Posted a video and at least that tagged me. So I don't know if you posted a video and didn't tag me. I never saw it, but you had to tag me. Um, you had to show me. Like I had to see the damn video. You know what I mean? In order to give you credit, only two people, two people were able to um, to do that. Unfortunately, one of the people. Shout out to Chris Peters. Peterson, Chris Peterson, um, you know, he had an, an emergency or whatever. So he's like, yo, I got to go out of, you know, out of the country, out of the state. I'm not going to be back in time. So he forfeited his, uh, his chance to win the Dodger tickets and fair is fair. I was thinking of doing it again with like a different, um, with a different way of doing it. But I was like, Hey, fair is fair. This person that won the Dodger tickets, they did what they had to do. And, um, they're the only ones that were left. So they automatically win. So shout out to Nikki Rich. Of the Nikki Rich show, make sure you check her out too. Um, she has her, she has a podcast and like a TV show. She's always doing media for Oprah Winfrey. Like she's doing big things, you know what I mean? So shout out to my girl Nikki Rich. Shout out to you. You won two Dodger tickets for September 27th, courtesy of OG Blur, aka Will Garcia and the Solid Kings. All right. So that, that's so I'm so glad to get that off my chest because I've been wanting I needed to tell you guys that last Monday I mean last uh, Friday and barely there she is right there woo she won so shout out to Nikki Rich make sure you follow her if you see her right there Nikki Rich she also does podcast she also does uh, uh, online TV all that good stuff you know um, she's interviewing all the hottest people and um, she's out there on red carpets everything doing it real big shout out to Nikki Rich congratulations. Um, well, I hit you up. 
yes, I'll send you this video. I'll send you this video so you can post it for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate that, uh, Nikki Rich. And um, I was also giving away a Nitro Average t-shirt. Um, and the way you earn that t-shirt is you had to share the video. So if you guys want to go ahead and share this video, I greatly appreciate it. Share this video. And um, last week, there was three videos. I did two of them, but unfortunately, one of them got cut in half. Remember the whole purple purple monster and shit like the FBI is watching my videos so it got all all crazy and stuff so um, that video got cut in two so I was like share both videos and then the third video nobody 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 shared all three videos there's like two three four people that shared two videos and there was like a lot of people that shared just one video out of the out of the three not one person shared all three videos so I think I think we should. Um, I'm gonna call it. A, I'm gonna call it a, 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 a no winner, because you had to do what you had to do. Not one person. Not one. You know, there was a shitload of people that shared all single one. I shared and shared. Now I just shared. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. So as of right now, I'm 100 percent sure what we're gonna do. Um, that's something else that I want to talk to you guys about. I, I'm. What do you call it? I, I'm very open with you guys. You know what I mean? I'm very open. I like to, I like to be honest with you guys and and um and tell you what I'm going through. And you know what I mean? Like there's highs and there's lows and there's all kinds of stuff. And I'm not, I don't say the lows because I want you guys to feel sorry for me. I don't say the lows because anything. You know what I mean? Um, but I get people to tell me like, oh my God, Monsky, like like you're always amazing. Nothing ever happens to you. Like you have a perfect life, and it's like not the case. Just because I'm always motivated, just because I always know that there's a bigger plan than I can even imagine at the moment. You know what I mean? Doesn't mean that I don't go through shitty situations. You know what I mean? And for for um for an example, I went through a very shitty situation that I'm going through a very shitty situation today. You know what I mean? And I've been like wondering. Um, thank you, thank you guys that are sharing this video. Um, so yeah, I was I, I've been pondering, you know, like should I should I mention it? Because I don't I don't want to be that guy, like oh my god, I feel sorry for me, because that's not the case. I just want you guys to know that I am human, that I am a regular person, that bad. You see, and again, per, bad and good are perceptions. There's no such thing as bad and good. You know what I mean? Um, it's, it's just like this. You know what I mean? Like, take this bottle of water. Some people like it. Some people don't like it, but at the end of the day, it's not bad or good. It's just a bottle of water. Like this can be someone freaking kicking you in the face. Like this thing right here. The person that got kicked is probably bad. The person that kicked that person is probably a good. You know what I mean? So at the end of the day, bad and good is only relative to um, the perception of the situation. So shit just happens to everybody. Shit happens to everybody and the way you perceive it is that's when you decide if it's bad bad or good. You know what I mean? All good. All right, Letty, everything is good. That's right, Steph Star. It's all good. But anyways, so hey, so this is perfect then. Now I want you, you know, um if you guys are going through it too, I want you to know that Monsky is going through it too and I'm excited about it. <laughs> I'm kind of weird like that. Um literally uh what last Last February, this February that just passed, um, like my whole, like the whole, because like I worked at the studio, the people that used to work there, like everybody got fired, it was just like a, a crazy mess, um, and somebody asked me, like, hey, how do you feel about it? I'm like, I'm super excited. They're like, uh, like your whole world just basically like crumbled, and like you don't even know what tomorrow is going to bring, and you're excited? I'm like, of course, because I know when there's destruction, when there's fire, later there's going to be new growth. That's just the way it is. If you can hold it in you explode and let it if you hold it in you explode and let all of the wrong crap let it out while it's bothering you there you go carol well it's not bothering me not at all like um i, I told a few people in my circle you know what i mean like hey this is, this is what i told them i was like i got bad news and I got good news. No, no, that's what I said. I said I got bad news and I got amazing news. And and we always have to start off with the bad news. You know what I mean? Because you want to want to get the bad news first, and then you want to get the good news, like to end it on a positive note. Um, and at the end of the day, my bad news and my great news was the same news that I told them. I'm like, this is the same, like the same thing. They're like, what? What are you talking about? I'm like, yeah, it kind of sucks that this happened, but at the same time, it's amazing that this happened. You know, because everything happens for a reason. And I, I ask for stuff. I, 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 I meditate. I go out and I, and I put energy out. You know what I mean? Again, you can put the seeds out there. Like if you're planting a tree, you put the seed in. 
you water it and you freaking let it you know you let it get sun but you can't control how that tree grows it might grow crooked you can't control that shit it's just the way it grows but at the end of the day you'll have apples or oranges or whatever it is that you planted you know what i mean so you can't control how that tree grows you can just control the fact that you planted the seed and you take care of that seed by watering it and making sure it has sunlight other than that the rest of it is the universe does its thing you know what i mean when you when door open new doors open new adventures live big frank padilla's in the building what's happening brother so yes absolutely all right so just to let you guys know I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say again. I've been, I've been, I've been pondering. Yes, no, maybe so. I should say it. I shouldn't say it. But I'm gonna go ahead and say it. I appreciate you guys' um, support and your positive um, comments. So you know, like we're family. We're gonna put it out there. Um, so if you guys, if you guys didn't know, I do not your average radio, right? Um, but I also worked at a studio. I work at a studio, and I actually get a paycheck. So I don't like to call it my job because it kind of is similar to the radio station. I kind of do it all in sync with each other like, you know the not your average radio kind of goes into the studio and the studio stuff kind of goes into not your average radio but anyways so i i, I do it's like so it's a job i, I get a i get a a, a, a a bi-weekly, like every two weeks I got a check, all that good stuff, so it is a job, I just kind of said like I left my other job, whatever, whatever, but anyways, today I was let go from the, from the studio, you know, for for multiple reasons, you know what I mean, bad, good, um, whatever the case might be, we couldn't come to an agreement, you know, the people at the studio and myself, so I got let go today, so basically I lost my job, so to speak, you know what I mean, but at first I was like, shit, like, this is the first time in a while that I've been like, oh, crap, I don't have a check coming in. Because right here on Not Your Average Radio, I make money here and there. But it's like, eh, it's not really that important to me because it's like, I know I got that check coming in, you know, every other week. But now, that check's not coming in. So now, what should, I have two options. You know what I mean? Like, this is what I was thinking. This is the part in, when, when, I, when they make a movie, a movie about Monsky and Not Your Average Radio, this is the part... When it's like, all right, this like this is was rock bottom. This is when he fucking had no more like no more money. He's broke, um, about to be on the streets, and you have two options: you either fucking give up, or you fucking give it a thousand percent. You know what I mean? So that is why I said the, it's bad news. People, you know, people lose their jobs. People consider that bad news, correct? You know what I mean? But at the same time, it's amazing news because now I have an opportunity to do not your average radio. All fucking day, all fucking night, every day, 24-7, seven, seven days a week, 365, even 366 on leap year, and no one can stop me. Because before, people would invite me, like, during, like, on a Wednesday, like, yo, bro, I'm doing this interview with this certain artist, and you should come through, and I'm like, man, I can't go, I, you know, I gotta go to the studio, I gotta go to the studio, blah, 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 blah. and I was like, shit, man, if I, if I, if I was only doing this 24-7, this not your average radio grind, I would be able to do whatever the hell I want. You know what I mean? So, be careful what you ask for. <laughs> so, I, that's why I'm very excited. Um, so, basically what I'm saying is, for you guys too, there's a lot of people that, you know, a lot of people going through it, um, or when you are going through it, if you're about to go through it, things happen for a reason. You know what I mean? And this happened today. Like, um, I'll show you right now. Like, this literally happened today. Like, there's my, st there's my board from the studio. There's my computer from the studio. There's my, there's my, oh shit. I don't know what the hell just happened right here. There's my backdrop <laughs> from my studio. Oh shit, it's kind of dirty in my room. I, I just brought all this stuff up. So it, there's, there's all my stuff. Oh, there's another, another monitor right there. There's my Not Your Average Radio binder. So this is like real shit right here. Like this just happened a couple hours ago. <laughs> you know what I mean? And we're right here. We're live. We're giving away Dodger tickets. Um, I'm not going to give away that t-shirt though because no one did it. There was rules and regulations and no one shared every single video i go through every video and i look for everybody that shared and not one person shared all three videos so the not your average radio t-shirt contest is null and void because you guys didn't do it what do you guys want me to tell you guys what do you want me to tell you guys oh shit i, I just saw that you guys were daisy daisy in the is in the building tammy thank you i appreciate it thank you bigger things ahead yes daisy Sorry to hear that, Monsky, but there is something coming more awesome for you because you are great. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know what I mean? And I was thinking, like, how can you guys help me? You know, I've always, 
I, I, I don't like doing this, you know what I mean? I was always thinking, like, yo, like, create, like, I think I mentioned this, like, a couple times already, like, create a donation thing, so if you guys want to donate to Not Your Average Radio, obviously, now I'm doing this 100% by myself, you know what I mean? So if you guys have a couple extra bucks at the end of the week or at the end of the month, and you're like, yo, let's, uh, you know, let, let me give this, let me donate this to Not Your Average Radio, I would appreciate it, but... I was thinking, I don't want to do that. I don't know why. That doesn't feel like I don't do stuff unless like I feel like it feels right. You know what I mean? And I don't have that warm, fuzzy feeling when I think about asking you guys to donate money. But what I do want to ask you guys, keep sharing these videos. You know what I mean? Keep spreading the word on Not Your Average Radio. Um, that is what's going to help me. You know what I mean? Because then I'll be able to get sponsorships. And then that's how you get the money on doing radio stuff. You know what I mean? And please, 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 please check out Not Your Average Morning Show. The link, um, I, I, I could try to, sh I don't have it right here. You know, I should, I should, I, I'm going to save it next time. Um, I'll post it right now. As soon as I'm done with here, um, I'm going to go and I'm going to post, you know, make sure tomorrow morning you check out Not Your Average Morning Show because tomorrow we have a brand new episode, 6 a.m. We're dropping it. So, um, you know, make sure you're ready for that. Um, yeah, so that, that's what I, that, that's what I ask. You know, I don't, I'm not asking for money. I'm not asking for donations. What I ask is for support. You know what I mean? That would help me a lot more, um, you know, than, 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 uh, anything else. You know what I mean? Share this video, um, promote, you know, like check out, check out, um, not your average morning show, uh, with myself, two other co-hosts. It's an amazing show. Trust me. I was there when we were doing the show. I re- Olga, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Um, I, I reheard it. Um, I was eating. <clears throat> actually, I was drinking, and I was not drinking, but I was drinking water. Um, and, and there's a part that that it was super funny, and I seriously spit out the water. Like I was there. Like I know what was going to be said, and it was just so funny that I spit out the water. I was like, "This is a good show." Not because I'm on it, but it really is a good show. Um, <clears throat> if you guys have time, make sure you check it out. It's on SoundCloud. Um, I'm gonna load it up on more on other places. You know, I've just been busy, like I said. A lot of situations happening right now, but it's all good. It's all for a purpose. It's all for a reason. I've been asking, you know, I've been asking the, the world for a change to give me some um, opportunities and stuff like that. So here you go. You want opportunities, Monsky? There you go, mother. Uh, that's how it goes down, man. I, I'm a big believer in that thing. Um, so I, what should we do? Should we give out what well, today? What is it today? Today is today is Monday. Today is Monday. Um, as of right now. I want to give you guys more money. I really do. But I think right now I'm going to chill on that <laughs> for obvious reasons. Um, but as soon as, as, soon as we, we stack up some money real quick, um, we'll start we'll getting it. I want to give away money to you guys. I really do. I appreciate you guys. Um, I think that really motivates you guys to share and all that good stuff. So, I, hey, you guys, you know, I get, some, I get some advertising. You guys get some money. It's as simple as that. Um, but as of right now, I'm going to chill on that, you know, for obvious reasons. But I do have some T-shirts. I could definitely give you give away some T-shirts. Um, I think we should do that. Do that. We're gonna share. I'm gonna be on with today. I'm gonna be on today. Tomorrow I'll be on again. And Wednesday. Wednesday we're gonna be at Levity Live. And that's something else that you guys can help me with. Um, if you guys are in the Oxnard area, we're going to be at Levity Live this Wednesday. We have free tickets. Like go to the show. That would help me. You know what I mean? Like these little things. Like I'm giving you free tickets. I'm not even charging you to go. But you showing up under my guest list will help me. You know what I mean? It gives me credit for um, you know for promoting the show and stuff like that. So that would be helpful. Julie, thank you so much. Appreciate you uh, sharing the video. So yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give away a Not Your Average Radio T-shirt. You guys have to share every live video. Every live video that I do, you guys have to share it. You know what I mean? So not like every live video, but every live video that I do, like this is considered my broadcast. So if tomorrow, um, now that I have some more, some extra time on my hands, I might go live um, like at 11 o'clock or, or 12 o'clock. You never know. I might go live then. Um, not that video, but like the video that I post like around 8 or 9 o'clock. You know what I mean? And um, I, you know what? I, I think I'm going to just be going like randomly on, you know, different times because... Now I got, but now I got a bunch of time on my hands. So um, you're, you're gonna be seeing a lot more Monsky. Um, Monsky's gonna be doing more moves, and uh, I'm gonna be looking for more shit to give away. You know, what I mean, I'm gonna be hitting up some businesses, and um, and I'll be like, yo, I got, I got amazing, I got amazing following. Um, they they support a thousand percent, and I want to give them free shit. So 
We'll promote their brand. We'll get, we'll give you guys some free shit, and we'll make it happen. Frank Padilla, thank you so much for, uh, for for sharing that. I really do appreciate it. Again, if you guys are in the area of Oxnard, California, this Wednesday, we're going to be at Levity Live. We're giving away free tickets. All you guys do is show up. That's all you got to do. You know what I mean? And I would appreciate it. That's it. Um, other than that, that's about it. What else is going on? We have um, a couple a couple shows that are coming up. We love us some Monsky. I appreciate it. I really do. I love you guys too. Um, Olga, I shared this again. Need t-shirts. Yes. Bridget, we got t-shirts. We got all kinds of stuff. Honestly, I think we all like seeing your cute face. <laughs> Big Frank needs a 4X. Oh, shit. Uh, as of right now, I don't have any 4Xs. The biggest size I have right now is 3Xs. So uh, let me um, let me sling some t-shirts, um, and, then I, and then I gotta order some more shirts, and I'll get a 4x. I'll remember 4x. That's what's up. But um, I appreciate you guys' support. Again, all I ask, I would love to show support with a t-shirt. Of course, hit me up. Hit me up. Um, DM me. I forget. DM me. Um, DM me your size, and um, and your address or whatever, and we'll talk about getting you guys some Not Your Average Radio shirts. And I would appreciate it that way too, for sure. That that'd be amazing. Um, and I do have them for sale too. If you guys want to, you know, like I, I pay for these shirts to get made. You know what I mean? If you guys want to, I usually sell them for like for like twenty bucks. Um, you know what I mean? We could sell them for like fifteen bucks if you want. You know, we'll do a little discount. Uh, 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 Monsky just got fired discount. <laughs> Monsky needs to sling his uh, his his t shirts discount. But that would be dope. That would definitely help me too. I do have women's shirts. Like, they're collar shirts like this. But they're, like, really tight to the body. I got some tank tops that are women. And <clears throat> and I got guy t-shirts. Sizes. The guy t-shirts. I got a couple mediums, large, extra large, double X, 3X. And what time on Wednesday at Levity? Levity Live is at 8 o'clock. So be at Levity Live by 7.30. Because it's going to get packed. Because tomorrow, since i got a lot of time on my hands now, I'm going to promote the shit out of that show. I'm telling you, you guys get a free show. I get a little bit of credit for promoting that show. I would appreciate it. Hit me up if you guys want some tickets. Um, all I need to know is your first and last name and how many you need. What is the largest woman tank? Uh, double X. No, no, no. One X. One X is the, the largest woman tank top that I have. They're super stretchy. They should be. They should be. Uh, they should be fine. They look kind of small, but they're super. They're super stretchy. Did you do any caps? I do have um, caps on the website. I still haven't fixed the um, the um, the logo on it. it. It has an all right logo. Do you have extra small, extra sexy? <laughs> I do have. Uh, I think I have small. I'm not sure if I have an extra small. But yeah, hit me up. DM me or or message me or whatever. I guess it's called something different right here on uh, on Facebook. But yeah, um, if you guys want t-shirts, I got some t-shirts. We're gonna put them on sale. I usually uh, sell them for like twenty bucks. Um, we're gonna do it for fifteen. So uh, we'll do we'll do one for fifteen. Do I want to do two for two for twenty? That probably wouldn't make sense. How about two for twenty five? Cause usually it'd be 40, 15, 15, two for 30, two for 25. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Yes, that would be dope. I would appreciate it. Any support. And if you guys post yourself taking pictures, this and this and that, you know, post it on your social media. Like, Hey, go follow this guy. He's badass, or whatever the case might be. Two for 25. Does that make sense? I don't know what the calculation on that is. <laughs> I got to see if that makes sense for me. <laughs> Um, I'm hurting, but not that bad. <laughs> now nah, I'm just messing with you guys. Again, thank you guys, man. Not your average radio. Uh, shout out. I will get two for 25. Hold on real quick. Let me do the math. <laughs> Hold on real quick. Can you, can you guys still see me? I was on my calculator real quick. I don't know if you guys can still see me when I go into different apps. Okay, we could do, we could do, as of right now, we'll do two, two, for, two for 25. Let me know. If you guys want to do it, um, DM me, send me a message, a direct message or whatever the case might be. If you have my number, text me, but let me know you want a t-shirt um, and we'll, we'll get those shipped out just because, you know, at least, at least it'll pay for the shipping. <laughs> um, the last, I sent out a shirt that was like six bucks to ship. So I don't know, but.
hopefully we will be all right. Um, and that's it. I think that's it. So, so uh, congratulations, Nikki Rich of the Nikki Rich Show for winning the Dodger tickets. Uh, I gotta send you over those that information. Um, and also, nobody won the t-shirts last week because no one did exactly what I said. You had to share every single video. This week, we are giving away a not, another Not Your Average Radio t-shirt. All you got to do is share this video, share tomorrow's video, and then we can share, share Wednesday's video. Or should I give it away on Wednesday? I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure it out. But, um, and... Again, for you guys that are just tuning in, um, I don't like again. I don't like putting out all the like any negative stuff out there. But again, like I was saying, there's no such thing as negative. There's no such thing as like positive. It's just shit happens to you. You know what I mean? Um, we put on we put the positive and the negative um, labels on them is because of the perception. You know, it just depends on on what it is. Like I was saying, like I can give you guys this bottle of water, and I know somebody close to me that will not drink it. Because she doesn't like it. You know what I mean? But to me, this is delicious water. You know what I mean? So for her, like, oh, that's bad water. To me, it's like, this is delicious. You know what I mean? So at the same, at the end of the day, it's the same bottle of water. Like, this is, this is, um, I know, I, I like to, to prove a point. I like to exaggerate. But this is, um, this is, this is the car accident that you got into. This is um, medical bills that you need to pay. This is um, anything, anything that, that, that can possibly be shitty situations um, that can be perceived as shitty situations. Um, for example, you get in a car accident. For you, it's bad. Hopefully, you don't. Get, you're not gonna get hurt. It's just a, 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 a quick little fender bender. For you, it's bad. For the car, for the audio, the auto car person is gonna fix it. It's good because they get some money. You know what I mean? So that same situation is 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 perceived as negative and positive. You know what I mean? How is that possible? It's possible because there's no such thing as positive or negative. It's only such thing as perception. So as long as you just let things happen to you. Just let it happen to you. If you're thirsty, drink the water. Some taste nasty. Some some taste good. Just drink water. You'll be all right. You know what I mean? So, anyways, that's what I'm saying. So yeah, um, I I I worked at a studio. I gotta let go today. Therapist Monsky. That's why I have Doctor Monsky. I gotta start doing that again. I said um. I've been through a lot. I've been through a lot in my life, and it's 90, actually it's 100% all my fault. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I learned a lot. You know what I mean? I learned a lot. Um, I, I grew up a lot, in, in, and I see a lot of people that, that are going through stuff in, in my life, and it's like I'm, I'm the one that always there to be their therapist. It's really weird. So I'm like life coach. So we're going to do like life coach Monsky. But I already, I already talked about this. Obviously, you guys weren't on there. I have one episode of Dr. Monsky, and I talk about some stuff. Um, and I also created an email. It's drmonsky at gmail.com. If you guys have a situation that you want to talk about that you might be going through. Um, um, you know what? I think I might do that again tomorrow. I, I'll, probably, I'll probably go through. I'll, I'll, I'll do an episode of Dr. Monsky of the shit that I'm going through right now. I kind of mentioned it, what I'm, what I'm going through right now, but I might just do it. You know what I mean? So if you guys are going through a situation that you might uh, want me to talk about, you know, in, in, in my pers- my perspective of the situation, um, let me know. You know what I mean? If you guys, if, if it's not that crazy, you can put it in the comments and I'll talk about it. Or um, if it is kind of crazy, you can email it to drmonsky at gmail.com, which is already created. And um, and we can talk about it. I could talk about it right here on Night Average Radio. I'm not going to say who it came from. And if you don't want me to know who it is, just create a fake email. <laughs> Everybody does it all the time. Or, or if you have a if you have a ghost, uh, uh, a creeper uh, Facebook page or Instagram page, DM me through that. Just be like, hey, uh, I have this question or I have this situation that I'm going through. Uh, baby daddy did this or baby mama did that or whatever the case might be. I've been through it all. <laughs> Trust me. Um, I've been married. I've been divorced. I have a kid. I was in Iraq. Um, uh, still live at home with the parents. Uh, been broke. Had money. Like... I did it all, like anything you could possibly think of. You know what I mean? I've done it, so um, that's what I, that's what I'm here for. Let me use my and, and if I haven't done it before, um, I'll give you a pretty good perspective of of what to do, not to do. The mad mom-in-law, the mad mom-in-law. 
I've had that too. The crazy mom in law, I've had that. The, the, I've had the crazy mother-in-law. Um, it was an amazing thing when me and her daughter broke up because I was like, I felt more like relieved that I wasn't dealing with the mom anymore than the, the than the, my girlfriend herself. <laughs> I was like, cause her mom's crazy. But yeah, I have a, I've had it all. I've had it all. Trust me. Um, what up, puta? What's up, Contreras? Contreras in the building. What's up, brother? Um, you missed it. You missed it. We give away Dodger tickets. Shout out to Nikki Rich for winning the Dodger tickets. Um, we're do no. I didn't give away any T-shirts yesterday. Uh, this week, last week, last week. Today's Monday. Um, because nobody did what I told them to do. You have to share three videos, and nobody. There's a couple people that shared two videos. A lot of people shared individual videos, but nobody shared all three. So nobody won T-shirts. So we're doing the Not Your Average Radio T-shirt contest again this week by sharing this video and every live stream not your average radio broadcast video like every every video in the evening um if you share it you'll be entered to win they're gonna lose anyways and we're also talking about some motivational stuff i'm gonna talk about a little bit i'm gonna talk about a little bit more i just thought about this um tomorrow on my my dr monsky show that, I, that i'm gonna that I, i'm definitely gonna I, de- I already did one of the shows i gotta keep that going you know i think it's important not only to educate not, not not to educate you guys uh motivate you guys you know motivate you guys entertain you guys and hopefully um you can learn something from my from my fuck-ups in my life it's amazing but contreras like i was telling everybody um dope show this morning about those see contreras enjoyed it if you guys i'm still watching and needing Two shirts. Well, like I said, hit me up. Uh, oh, and I'm also slanging shirts. So if you guys need to buy shirts, okay. So this is what I was saying, Contreras. Um, everybody that is just tuning in, I don't like to talk about negative stuff, you know, or stuff that is happening to me. But I need you guys to know. I love the motivational pa- things you post on your page. Thank you. I appreciate that. You know what I mean? Like we have to get up and we have to be motivated. That's what I do. Uh, I've been doing that for like two, three years now, and, it, and and you know sometimes I just I just feel it like like I go by feeling, you know what I mean? A little warm, fuzzy feeling in here, like yes, that's the one, you know what I mean? And sometimes it, like I find it right away. Sometimes it takes me like two, three hours, you know what I mean? Like I'll wake up at six and I won't post it till like eight because like I randomly just be like, nope, nope, I'm not feeling that one today. I'm not feeling that one today. Anyways, he's trading shirts for nudes, FYI. Contreras, no, I'm not. You know why? Anyways, so um, anyways, I was saying that I go through shit too. You guys are my family. I'm here to let you guys that I go through positives and negatives, um, whatever the case might be. But today, Contreras, today, I was let go from the studio. I no longer work at the studio. I have all, all, all my not your average radio. Look at there's my board. Here's my here's my computer. Here's my screen. That's my son's bed, by the way. <laughs> There's my backdrop, the one that, that I usually have behind me. Um, I got fired from the studio for uh, undisclosed reasons. It just misunderstand. Not mi- it was like uh, we couldn't, you know, it was misunderstandings for sure. <laughs> but I, I don't want to get into the details of it. Um, but yeah, it was crazy. They're lost for sure. Absolutely. You know what I mean? And again, things happen for a reason. I left and I thanked everybody. I shook everybody's hand. I was like, I appreciate the opportunity. Um, no, I'm not kidding you. That's why I'm slinging my shirts now. I was like, yo, I need to sell some shirts. <laughs> um, and, and they're on sale. I usually sell one for 20 bucks. But I said, you know what? I'll go down for one for 15, two for 25. That's how it's going down right here. Not your average radio. Uh, if you guys need t-shirts, let me know. Hit me up. They're on sale. Or if you want to try to win one, share this video. I would appreciate it. Um, oh, like I was telling them, I wanted to do a, um, I'm going to do it one more. I'm going to mention this one more time because Contreras wasn't on. Um, I was saying that I have bad news and I have good news. The bad news is I got fired. The amazing news is I got fired. So now I have a thousand percent focus on Not Your Average Radio. So they can't stop me. They can't stop me. By the way, that's my library right there. That's my library. <laughs> yes, it's held up by a bottle of tequila. It is what it is. But um, I'm sure you're going to be fine. I already know I'm going to be fine. It's, it, there, there is no other. There, there's no other choice. <laughs> you know what I mean? There is no. There is no other choice. There's no thing. Um, I've asked. The, I, I've asked the energy. I've asked the universe. Um, you know, for for um, 
for progression in my career on Not Your Average Radio, and this is just part of the process. You have to weed off some things. Um, like, like for example, if you ask for a new job, like, my God, I wish I had this new job. I fucking hate my job, this and this and that. And like a week later, you get fired. You can't be upset because the universe is making room for your new job. You know what I mean? Um, you like I was saying, you can't, um, you can't, you can't control how the universe gives you what you want. You know what I mean? So I've been asking, like, yo, I want more opportunities. I want more. Um, I, I need to get to that next. To, to, I need to get up to fucking five more levels. You know, I need to do bigger things. And the universe is all right. Fucking take this fucking negative thing that's holding you back. Let's get rid of it. And that's what it, that, that I. That's what I really, really, honestly believe right there in the corazón. But yeah. So anyways, I was telling like Contreras, I was telling them, um, I don't do anything unless I get like that feeling. You know what I mean? I get a feeling inside that's like, yes, that's what I need to do. Um and you know, my my um I guess you get like I'm still conditioned to to, you know, old school ways, you know what I mean? I'm trying to break all these conditionings that I was raised with and stuff like that. So like right away when I'm like, Oh my god, I lost my job, I'm like all these people that I have following me, I'm like, if they donate some money, I'll be straight, like, this and this and that. But I'm like, that's not that's not what I want to do. That's not the kind of guy that I want to be. You know what I mean? Um, I don't want to be like, oh, feel sorry for me, donate money, da da da, da. So that's not what I want to do. But what I am asking is if you guys can just share it. You know, share what, what if you really like what I do on Not Your Average Radio, share it. Support. Um, I'm hiring drivers. Chales, vato, I need, I need a stick on Not Your Average Radio. Um, I'm tired, bro. I'm tired of working for other people. I appreciate it. I appreciate um, you telling me that, but um, it's game time, bro. I got my I got my game face. This is what I've been wanting. I've been wanting to. Um, I feel like the studio. I appreciate the opportunity at the studio, but I felt like it was holding me back. Um, there's opportunities that would come for Not Your Average Radio, and I'm like, I can't. I gotta go to the studio. I can't. I gotta be at the studio. I can't. I gotta be at the studio. I'm tired of that shit. I'm tired of, of saying I can't. I'm I'm ready to just be like, let's go, 100%. So anyways, like I'm saying, all I'm asking is for you guys to help me out by sharing this video. Spread the word on Not Your Average Radio. Tell your friends. Tell tell the person that you're walking across the street like, yo, make sure you check out Not Your Average Radio. Monsky's crazy. That's it. That's all I got. More time with my son. Even though he doesn't care about me today, today we had a. Um, I almost went live, but I don't. I don't. I don't know. I was at my son's school today. Um, he's in eighth grade, thirteen years old, and they had um, a, a celebrate, not a celebration, an assembly for Patriots Day. And for you guys that don't know, back in two thousand to two thousand four, I was in the United States Marine Corps. And in two thousand and three, I went to Iraq during the whole situation. Um, <laughs> this vato. Um, I'll hit you up about that for sure. <laughs> we need to get into something like that. Anyways, um, yeah, so my, I was there with my son. And he's over there with his friends. It was funny, though, because um, obviously he tells his friends that his dad does not have his radio and all that stuff. So his friends were like, um, hey, hey, DJ Monsky. Hey, DJ Monsky, how are you? And I was just like... Um, this is for this is for Patriots days for 9/11. Um, you know, you guys should be asking me about my Marine Corps service and they're like, "Oh, they're, they're, this is literally what they told me." They're like, "Can you do your intro to your not your average radio?" And I was like, "Are you serious?" Like, they're like, "Yeah, can you do it?" And I was like, "All right, fine." So I'm like, "Yo, what's your boy Monsky? Not your average radio. We broadcasting live." And they're just like, "Oh, it was funny. It was the craziest thing." Yeah, these um these 13 year old eighth graders just like, oh my god, thank you, DJ Monsky. Thank you, DJ Monsky. It was pretty cool. <laughs> so, of course, my, my pleasure, man. I, I miss the giving person. <laughs> Been in the Marine Corps, um, serving in Iraq, all that good stuff. And now we're, um, now I'm, I'm serving, I'm, I'm, I'm giving you. 13 years old, yes, he's he's definitely amazing. But yeah, he's over there, all cool guy, like, yeah, dad, like, whatever, you know what I mean? So I was like, little shit. But it's cool, I get it. He can't be, you know, he can't be too cool with that. Yes, thank you, Contreras. By the way, Contreras was in the Marine Corps with me. Um, he served with me, so shout out to Contreras as well. I appreciate your service, brother. Um, shout out, you know, shout out to everybody, all, all men and women in the armed forces. Um, first responders, too, because this is this is for, you know, all the paramedics, the firefighters, the, I guess the police. <laughs> You have provided good services, you know what I mean, and uh, and shout out the, the for those that gave their all, you know what I mean, especially 
Even though you know, even though Sergeant Padilla didn't give it, he didn't give it on 9/11. Um, he lost his life in Iraq, and, and Staff Sergeant Turner, um, you know, like, you know, he he ended up um, losing his life as well. So, shout out to everybody, man, for sure. You know, um, like I always said, you know, I, I don't believe, you know, I I don't believe the official story how planes crash into a fucking thing and then a building that wasn't even hit just mysteriously falls like come on do you think i'm fucking i still believe in santa claus like really really so anyways but it doesn't matter at the end of the day people did lose their lives <laughs> you know what i mean whether it was our government that that killed them or it was um osama bin laden that killed them but at the end of the day people died you know what i mean so that's what this that's, that's what this represents to me is the people that lost their lives for whatever reason not because not, we're not here to argue or discuss whose fault it was and whose fault it wasn't. Like, this doesn't matter. We can't control that, but we honor those that, that lost their lives today. Anyways. And that's something else that I think about, too, man. Everybody out there, um, Hurricane Harvey, everybody in Houston, um, Hurricane uh, Irma over there in Florida and shit. Like, like, I was like, man, people were like, oh, shit, Mosky, you lost your job today. Like, you lost the studio. Like, that's crazy. Like, are you okay? This and this and that. I'm like, I'm fine. Look at it. There's a roof. Yes, there's stars. No, don't hate on the stars. There's a roof over my head. We got walls. You know, we got clothes. I got water right here. You know, clean water that I'm drinking. Like, I'm blessed. You know what I mean? Like, there's people that are in Florida. Yes, Julie, your son is safe. Oh, that's great. I'm so happy that that's, that's amazing. I hope everybody out there is safe. Um, you know what I mean? At the end of the day, I hope everybody is safe. Yes, that um, their their houses and their belongings and their materialistic shit is probably damaged or, or flooded or whatever the case that may be. But that shit could be replaced. You know what I mean? That's all. That's what I always tell people. Um, I had people to ask me, like, Monsky, I wish I had your life. You're always so amazing. Nothing ever happens to you. And I was like, what the fuck? Like, what are you talking about? Like, you know what I mean? So that's why I, I mentioned what happened to me today. Because people, I, you know, people actually think that. I'm still trying to find my daughter and grandson in Jacksonville. Oh, I heard that shit went up to, um, oh, Jacksonville, that's in Florida too, huh? Well, I'm sure they're fine. They're, I, their power is just out. Um, you know what I mean? Phone services and all that good stuff is obviously no good, but I'm sure they're fine. Um, that's why I tell people, like, um, this, uh, this is this is a 100% true story that a person told me. Um, yes, and we're sending prayers. I'm sure they're fine. Um, you know, just... They have they have no power, you know. These guys they they'll, they'll be fine. Um, but someone actually, this is a true hundred percent story that someone told me. I wish I had your life because you're always amazing. And I'm like, what? And I'm like, this is the way I see it. If I always like to, I always like to exaggerate situations just to prove a point. But like, if my house, like this house right here, was that burned down to the ground, and my car was burned down to the ground, you know what I mean, and it's like me and my family, like, just like, what the fuck, that sucks, at the end of the day, I'm not saying that it's, that it's a good thing, of course not, but at the end of the day, I'm focused on, like, this shit can be rebuilt, you know, this shit, like, 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 you know, we could go hang out with friends and family, sleep on a couch for a couple of, like, for a month or two, you never know, like, while we rebuild, but as long as we're healthy, that's all that matters, you know what I mean? So that's what I'm focused on. Like, fuck, I'm looking at my house burned to the ground. I'm like, damn, that sucks. But I look to my side. I'm like, my, my son's okay. My my parents are okay. My you know my family's okay. That's what matters. That's why I always say I'm amazing. You know what I mean? Even today, I lost my job at the studio. I lost my my paycheck, but I'm amazing because like you know like Bridget you know Bridget's family. His her son was is in Florida. Her 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 daughter's in in, in Jacksonville. Um, you know like. We have power here. We have we have roots over our, our heads. Like we're blessed. You know what I mean? So it's like I can, there's a million of jobs out there. Again, I don't want to get a job. I'm gonna focus on not your average radio. But anyways, I'm getting too I'm getting too motivated over here. I'm getting all pumped up. I'm like shit. Um, I gotta go take a shower and I have to go get some uh, go f fix my fix the mess in my room. Put not your average radio back together in here and um, and keep it cracking. But anyway, that's what we got today. Again, shout out Nikki Ridge. Winning Dodger tickets. Um, nobody won shirts, but hit me up if you need some. We're giving away, not giving away, we're selling shirts. Uh, one for 15, two for 25, two for 25. And um, please, please support. Share this video. I'm going to post right now. Um, not your average morning show. A lot of positive feedback. So please, you know, please just watch it. That's all I ask. I need you to watch it or hear it, I should say. Listen to it. Um, 
you know, give us your feedback and um, and and share this video. Give me your feedback, and that's all. It, that's more than enough to help us keep going right here on Not Your Average Radio. Okay, again, go check out the 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 the, the link in the, that I'm about to post um, tonight. I'm so used to saying tonight. This morning's Not Your Average Morning Show is is ready to go. You can hear it anytime. You can listen to it right now. And then tomorrow we're dropping another one, 6 a.m. Second day, Not Your Average Morning Show. Please support. Your boy Monsky. Thank again, thank you guys. I appreciate you guys. Um I'll see you guys tomorrow. Not Your Average Radio. We out of here. Peace.